Hi Bruce from Safari and what we're doing here is we're running a 12 volt inverter. It's 3000 capable. We've got the induction here running on setting nine. So that's only 1800 watts at the back there. But we're pulling the inverter and the induction through the 12 volt pin of Scotty from the 48 volt test batteries down here. So this is to demonstrate, we've done this several times before with 36 volts in the uh, trolling motor situation where the house battery is just on 36 volts. Um, but you could have a house battery here running just on 48 volts. And if you're already invested in a 12 volt inverter, you can continue to use it. Now, we really like to know what's going on here. And so uh, what we've got here is, this is a fairly fast oscilloscope that we've got here. Uh, in our sampling rate, we're measuring the current through here. We're measuring voltage as well. And what we're measuring up here is what the DC ripple is. And uh, as you can see here, it's uh, about 1.6 volts here, this VPP1. Um, on, we're running about 12.8 volts there. And the bottom one is the current ripple uh, that we're measuring over here. This is millivolts, got a factor of 10. It's about 85 um, amps is what we're measuring there in the ripple. Now, this is set at five milliseconds, so that's 100 hertz, because as it goes through the sine wave, uh, it's gonna get double the frequency there. But uh, for the uh, technically curious, this is a very, very interesting case. So what Scotty's doing here is as the inverter here is pulling down at the peaks in the sine wave, and it's pulling the power out of Scotty here, uh, when it comes back through the midpoint and crosses over and there's no load, Scotty is then bouncing that current back into the battery. So we get current going in and out, and that's what we're seeing on the screen. Now, the fact that this um, holds up quite comfortably, I've had it running at 3000 watts, by the way, in a boat, runs very comfortably. It means that uh, Scotty can keep pace with the demand of the inverter and the elevated ripple that we're seeing here on the DC side does not affect uh, the uh, Victron inverter. That's quite an achievement, I think, and, uh, and it's accolades to uh, Victron for that. So I've got to say, how good's that?